Parsha Nitzavim Vayalech. This Parsha is great to me. It reads faster than any other section of the Bible, yet it contains so many amazing lessons. And you know, I could go on for a really long time about all the different parts to it, but I think I just want to keep this really short, really simple, and right to the point. So I want to focus on the nature of the covenant. See, Moses is 120 years old on this day in the ancient world, and today will be his last. So his final message to the children of Israel is that God wants to be a part of their life. God wants to be their God. And this is an amazing thing. The creator of the universe is begging this small group of nomads to let God come into their hearts. And God says that if they do, God will never leave them. God tells Israel not to be afraid that God will bring them to the promised land and never give them up, so long as they keep the mitzvot. The mitzvot are sort of the tools that God gives us to connect with God. And it says, For the mitzvah which I command to you this day, it is not beyond you, nor is it remote from you. It is not in heaven, and it is not across the sea. Rather, it is very close to you, in your mouth, in your heart, that you may do it. Sometimes God seems really far away, and it's hard to sustain a belief in God. You know, you, you live your daily life and bad things happen to good people and good things happen to bad people and it just doesn't seem like God's really there. But see, that's why we have the mitzvot. These are practical, everyday activities that connect us with Hashem. In this way, the transcendental creator of the universe is not so far away after all. This is also a call to action. God wants us to love God and each other, to act. Not to just sit around casting prayers into space, looking for all the right answers. And we have to remember that Hashem will cross the river before us, meaning that if we agree to keep the meat's boat, we will always have the spirit of godliness that will stand in front of us, guiding us, protecting us, wherever we go. So don't be afraid and don't be dismayed. God is there. God is in front of you. Every time you take a step in the direction that Hashem wants you to, Hashem is already there a step ahead of you.